All right, man, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. It's been a long time since I've posted one of these, and I will be uh, ganging up with some other people and posting more scope footage as the, the warm weather approaches here. Uh, I've recovered from my surgery. I should be able to heft that scope again. Uh, what we have here is co confirmation of the double sun by another individual. First footage you're going to see here is my footage. Hydrogen alpha scope with a double stack, a solar max. That is the sun you see with your eyes. Okay, I'm going to pan around here. And that's lens flare, legitimate lens flare that you're seeing there. There's the sun you see with your eyes. And in a second here, oh, I need to go the other way. There's lens flare. There we go. Watch the top. You'll see a little thing go by. Um, this is the first time in the spring of 2016 that I discovered the double sun. There's the sun we see with our eyes. I'm still scanning around. I'm going to scan back over and find the other object for the first time. There it is, top of frame. This is the sun we do not see with our eyes. Now, I was afraid to post this for a long time. Uh, you're going to see that it will blur out. I'll mess with focus. I put a huge wrapping paper tube over the end of the Solar Max scope. Um, when you see the disturbance over the face of this, that's what's going on. I'm trying to prove that this isn't lens flare, but all those there right there. Uh, I also take my hand and I do light blocking over the end of the scope, which ironically, the gentleman who I'm about to introduce to you, who you should all go sub, saw this footage way back in 2016 and he replicated what I did, uh, which I'm going to show you here in a minute, which is proof positive. Uh, another individual doing it. Scanning back, there's a little bit of lens flare. There's the real sun that we see with our eyes in the bottom of frame coming back into frame. Now I'm going to load another clip that I shot. I think I did this three or four days in a row um, coming back to try to confirm this. Now here's a new clip. There's the sun you see with your eyes. That is legitimate lens flare right there. Scan out. There's the sun we don't see with our eyes on a new day. I'm confirming it once again. In a minute here, I'm going to load footage from a gentleman called Chris Van Mater, um, who took out equipment and replicated exactly what I did here, which is proof in the pudding. But he did something more. In one of the clips, you're going to see a telephone line going in front of the sun we do not see, which is also proof in itself. Again, there's the sun we see. Here comes Chris's footage. Uh, there's the name of his channel. You should all go up and sub him. There's the sun we see with our eyes. And there's the sun we do not. That noise is because this is a rip of a rip. Um, we'll have better footage of this as we move along. But there is this. He is confirming uh, in the same spot, in the same year, in spring, uh, what I did. Here comes another clip by Chris on a new day. There is the sun we do not see with our eyes with a telephone wire uh, in his field of view. When he scans back over to the regular sun, it's not there. There's the sun we see with our eyes. And again, we're back to my footage here. Um, there's the sun we see. There's the sun we do not see um, without a Hydra Alpha, Alpha scope with a double stack or a full spectrum camera. I will say that it is my contention this second object can be detected in visual spectrum with just normal tools at sunrise and sunset. Here comes the sun we see. So as we warm up here, I'm going to be pairing off with some people to do more work on the sun here. But there it is, ma'am. There is another object there. Uh, might well be the source of the sun that we see. And since I have stated the moon is plasma, it could also be the cause for that. There it is, man. Crow Discovery Project. Cheers.